Great place to visit. Love the beach area. They've already got some nice fish in there. But the beach goes right down into the deep part. Good day, mate. How are you? You must be Peter. Peter, yeah. PCB. Waterscapes. Waterscapes. Nice to meet you, nice, Peter. Nice to meet you too. What town are we in? We're in Taylor's Lakes. Taylor's Lakes. Yep. All right, we got a recreation pond that you built. Recreation, yeah, four huh. months old. All right, oh, four months. Let's check out a brand new Aquascape ecosystem water feature. So is this where everything came through? No, we came through the other side. Hello. How are you going? Nice to meet you. The pond guy, Greg. Marina. Marina, nice yeah. to meet you too. Is this your property? Yes, it is. Beautiful. I love the garden. Holy cow, look at that. So this is a brand new rec pond, huh? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Greg. Tony, how are Tony, you? Tony, the pond guy, Greg, yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, we got more people over here too. I see the intake bay, sand bottom. All right, whose idea was this? Marina's or Tony's? Tony. Okay, so are you happy with your oh, husband? I'm stoked. Okay, yeah. okay. So what was the concept here, my man? Basically, we had a few acres in the bush, and this was just a green backyard. Did you just move here, or? No, we've been here for a while. Okay. But we just wanted to bring nature back. Once well, you we, sure did that. <laughs> we did. We just you know, did our research, and we saw you. And Oh, good. We just moved on from there and spoke to a few people, and then we come across PCV waterscapes, and this is what they performed. Wow. This is a little paradise back here and not a huge yard but you have filled it every inch with this hello guys hey. i'm the pond guy greg hello my name's matt. matt matt all right hi i'm kaz kaz nice to meet you oh look at this wow i'm like i feel some warmth over here it's not shrimp on the barbie no it's not, <laughs> but, but it's also 7 45 in the morning so we got yes, corn yes. roasting huh yeah. look at that that's pretty nice that is slick. That's the first time I've seen that. We got a party going on back here super early in the morning. This is just great. Whoa, what a great place to visit. Love the beach area. Look at the fish. They've already got some nice fish in there. Okay, come on. Are you kidding me? Walking right in there. Got the beach goes right down into the deep part. How deep is this pond, Peter? Two meters. So deep enough that you can swim in it. Are you swimming in it? Haven't swum in it yet? Why not? Well, the fish get to swim in it. Are you uh, afraid of fish? Yeah. Tony, what about you? You swimming uh, it? They invited us over here for lunch when we were swimming in it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, so you didn't build it as a swim pond. You just built it as a recreation pond. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I love swimming with fish just like we do in the oceans and the streams and the lakes. Well, it's a brand new pond, right? Yeah. It's only been in here for a few months. This is a pond that we built that's only four months old. We've got a recreational pond that's eight by nine meters with a swimming hole depth of two meters. You can see we've got the intake bay coming through there. We've got three pumps running. They're the 20,000 litre low voltage pumps. So we've got two pumps that feed the wetlands that we've built up here. The wetlands, it's four by five meters with a little waterfall flows into the main pond. We've got some goldfish down there and some koi. So when we started this job, it was just a green backyard. The owner's brief was that they had a bush block not far, about an hour and a half out of Melbourne here. They wanted to bring nature back to their backyard. So they asked us 
to build this recreational pond. We did all the landscaping as well, so you can see all the paths, the veggie garden over there with the rustic fence. We built these screens that block out the shed. We've got vines growing up, up here so that the sheds will eventually disappear with the vines. We did all the edging and all the steppers. And Tony's added a lot of touches with all these little rustic bits here. So the rock that we used on this pond was in the Highland Slate, which comes from EA, which is about an hour and a half from here. And the access that we had was through between the fence and the house there. We brought our 15 tonne excavator in and we're about an inch away from that eave coming through. Very difficult ground to dig here because it has a lot of floaters. We actually dug the wetland first up the back there, the 5 by 4 wetland. It got so wet that we had to pull out and go off and do another job and wait till it would dry out before we could start digging the main pond. I just love this. I come, people are grilling corn on the barbie, and it never gets old seeing the work of certified aquascape contractors. So what's so cool is how, because of the modularity of our units, I love this shed that's back here, but you can fit it into any type of setting. I mean, this is a traditional neighborhood, beautiful neighborhood, but a traditional neighborhood, anything but a traditional landscape. If I look over at the neighbor's yard, probably just grass back there and maybe a patio. Let's see, step on that, yeah, oh yeah. What would you rather have? That yard <laughs> or this yard? It's a no brainer. What do neighbors or people say that comes? I'll get the well, I'll get the well factor all the time. There's not a they single just, person that would come back here that not be like just wow. Absolutely. I just feel privileged to have something like this in suburbia Melbourne, which not many would have, if any. It's probably a few, but not many. Look at that. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. So you got a fairly busy road, one house over, but because of that waterfalls, you really mask it. I can hear the cars a little bit, but not nearly as much because of that waterfalls. So there's the snorkel and you can just lift that off and put in the pump and once a year clean that out bigger pot for the water lily one of the things i love to emphasize is most ponds that i see these are new pond owners that's what the plant got sold in but three times bigger would be good and then fertilize your water lilies now this is the end of the season for that lily but in the mid-season i'm going to tell them to get a bigger pot and fertilize it once a month and that plant will grow this kind of a radius in here so look at the addition right outside their master bedroom and you said this is what the impetus was was you wanted to be have more views yeah. of this yeah you had a country home that you would go to as a vacation place yeah. you had to sell that so you bought the vacation home exactly If you wanna see more rec ponds all over the world, recreation ponds in people's yards, I'm gonna put a link right here so wherever you are in the entire world, you can see what living the aquascape lifestyle looks like. Here we're in a suburban backyard in a beautiful neighborhood, but yet I guarantee you in this entire neighborhood, these are the only people that have a recreation pond. I wanna make this stuff more prevalent. I want these videos to become more viral so that people can see what living the aquascape lifestyle is like anywhere they live all over the world.